So good morning learners and uh, welcome to today's uh, science lesson. And uh, in our today's lesson, we're going to start a uh, new topic. And the topic is the electricity. So I expect you, at the end of this uh, lesson, that I'm going to give you work on a chapter that I just completed, Levers. So you're going to, uh, there's an exercise I'm going to give you so that you can practice what you say. Now, electricity, uh, we say that it is a form of energy. It's a form, a form of energy. And just uh, maybe to remind you what we say energy is. So we say energy is the ability to do work. So energy is the ability to do work. So we have many uh, forms of energy. Like we have magnetic uh, 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 energy, we have sound energy, heat energy, mechanical energy, chemical energy, and so many other types of energy. So in this class, that is class 7, we are going to discuss electricity, and we are going to see two types of electricity. We are going to see, number one, static electricity and current electricity. So just to say what electricity is, we are saying that it's a form of, uh, it's a form of energy because we say energy is the ability to do work. So this electricity is going to be used to be able to perform uh, some, some, some work. And so we say uh, it's a form of energy and uh, we use electricity in various ways. Ways of we use electricity in number one, lighting. Meaning that you can't live in a room that is dark, so you need electricity. That's why if uh, the, 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 the electricity goes, it goes off, you have to look for a candle to be able to light and get the light. So, meaning that you, can, you cannot live without electricity, you can use it for lighting, either in a room or, or, or even in the industries where work is done. We also use electricity uh, in a heating. We have what we call the electric uh, 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 kettles. They use electricity to be able to boil water or even cook tea. So that electricity is converted into heat energy. Heat energy. And this heat energy is used to heat things. Can be water. It is safe. So the electricity is not going to be used directly to heat water. That electric kettle, or kettle, sorry, for that case, electric kettle is going to have something inside it which is going to transform that electricity into heat that is going to heat that water and be able to boil. So we shall see that uh, transformation in class 8, energy transformation, where we are be able to uh, convert one form of electricity to another one and use it. We also use this type of electricity in operating gadgets, operating electric, electronic, sorry, electronic, electronic gadgets. Anything that uses electricity in electric, uh, electronic gadgets, name them. Number one, you can have the phones, the handsets. The phones are using electricity. If there's no electricity, it means that you are going to stay offline. We also use electricity to operate TVs. The TV that you have at home, without electricity, it's not going to run. And so you are not going to watch anything. We also use electricity in radios. There are those radios that use dry cells, and there are also those ones that use electricity. They have a, a, a port to be able to connect electricity, and it's going to work. So we can use electricity in operating electronic gadgets, even in salon where you go uh, 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 for your for your for your place, you realize that they use the blood drive uses electricity to be able to function. So that's an electronic gadget. We also use uh, and such electronic gadgets include radios, iron boxes. Remember when we are when we tell you come clean to school, you must iron your clothes. You must press them. You only press them if the iron box is, is hot. And where is the heat coming from? From the electricity. 
Then we have television, as I said, uh, electric kettles and, and, and so forth and so on. We also have drills. We have what you call the world drills. Sometimes you see phony coming to your home and as, a, as, as, as an, uh, something a gadget will do like this. That this part is used to make holes on the walls. You know, most of the houses in Mombasa are made of uh, uh, the block, the block uh, 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 type of uh, uh, bricks. So you're going to realize that it's very difficult to penetrate in that block. So they bring that drill to be able to drill through the wall. And maybe if you want to fix your TV, mount it on the wall, you're going to use a drill to be able to do that. So drills and also toys. You have seen toys that use electricity to be able uh, to move from one point to another. When we were just producing our, 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 our video, the don't burn the school, you saw something flying uh, on, the, on the space. We call it drone. So that drone was simply using electricity. You saw that a man was operating just down, seated somewhere, and he has something that is operating using, using a gadget. So that gadget without electricity, the drone is going to fall down and not be able to fly. So these are areas where we can use electricity. So electricity is very, very important in our homes, in uh, uh, places of work, where your parents work. They also need that electricity. If you have electricity, I mean, you have Wi-Fi at home, and you don't have electricity, that Wi-Fi cannot run. Remember, it's going to use electricity to be able to, to run. And so we are saying electricity is very, very important in our daily lives as human beings. We depend on it in so many uh, uh, ways that we cannot be able to mention them, all of them today. And so we move from there and we are going to see sources of electricity. Sources of electricity. Where do we get this electricity from? Where do we get this electricity from? So we are going to have sources of electricity. Sources. So we are going to have uh, sources of electricity, and uh, we are going to have two types of uh, electricity. We are going to have two types of electricity. Okay. We are going to have okay. number one. Type of, there are two forms. There are two forms. Two forms of electricity. Number one form of electricity is what we call static, static, static electricity. And then number two, we have what we call uh, current, current electricity. So we are going to have the two, static electricity and uh, current electricity. I'm going to deal with number one, the static, static electricity. We are going to see exactly what we mean by uh, static electricity. So we are going to have uh, static electricity. And we are saying static ele electricity is produced by rubbing two substances, one against the other. Static, static electricity is produced by rubbing two objects or two substances substances one against against the other so if you have two substances and you try to rub them one against the other, you are likely to experience what we call a static electricity. And so I'm going to demonstrate uh, how we can be able to produce electricity in a number of ways. But some, you realize that some of the ways of producing these are static electricity. You have ever experienced either at home or even in school or in other places where you go. Now I'm going to give you an example of uh, when it's too hot and you have your pullover. The school uh, uh, pullover, the school sweater. 
Sometimes the teacher will tell you, remove your sweaters, it's too hot. So that at least you get some fresh air and so you don't lose also uh, uh, those in class. So while trying to remove it like this, there's a cracking sound that you hear. You hear some cracking sound and that cracking sound is produced because the, the sweater that is the pullover is rubbing against your body. So there are two services here, Lana. There is a sweater, the surface of the sweater, and the, 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 the body, that is yourself. So when that sweater rubs on the body, on a very hot day, you realize there is a crackling sound. You have ever noticed even, even at home that there is a crackling sound and you don't even realize that uh, you are producing some electricity. So that's for exactly what we call aesthetic electricity. You realize that uh, many times at home, just try to remove your, 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 your your clothes, your sweater, and more especially the ones that are made of a, a type of a, of a material that is a nylon material. Once it touches on your hair, you hear some crackling sound. That sound is because of uh, 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 an electricity we call static electricity. So number one, we have so many sources, and we are mentioning sources of uh, static electricity. Number one, I'm saying when you're moving, when removing, removing, pull over, pull over, there is, there is a crackling sound, a crackling sound, and this crackling sound, therefore, is, uh, is what we call, is what we call aesthetic, electric sound, crackling sound, that is, that is, i.e., Sparks, sparks are hard. You hear some uh, sparks, you can also see them, but a sound, you hear it. As sparks may be seen, sparks are seen. Are seen. I, I've, also, I've also seen the same sparks. For example, when a cat, you know, cat likes playing with people. So when you're just seated there it's during the night, and a cat comes and rubs its, 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 its tail against your, your, your legs. You're likely to see some light in between there. That is exactly what we call uh, aesthetic electricity. That is, when a cat is rubbed gently in the dark, when a cat, when a cat is rubbed gently in the dark, You are likely to see some sparks, and that is going to be to be static electricity. Sparks are produced. Sparks are produced. You must have known what sparks are. When some fire is burning, you see some some sparks, or even that person who cuts, who does the welding and cutting uh, uh, some metal using a machine, you see some sparks. Of light coming from that particular, of course, metal because of the friction between the two surfaces, the cutting machine, the welder, and the and the, and, and the metal. Another way you can be able to produce uh, static electricity is by yourself pumping your air when pumping one one's air when pumping pumping one's one's air. I'm sure you have heard that sound when you are trying to come, especially if the air is long, you'll be able definitely to hear a touch. So a cracking sound will be found there. And especially when you come using, uh, using a plastic comb. Not another comb, but a plastic comb. You are likely to hear uh, the cracking sound, meaning that Static electricity is being produced. Another way, Lana, of course, is uh, when you try to rub windows in our, in our, in our class, we have the window panes. So, when you're trying to rub, to wipe them using a dry duster or a piece of cloth or a dry grass or on a dry day, dust particles or fluff from the duster or cloth stick to the glass. 
So, when wiping, when wiping the doors, so the window panes, window panes, on a, on a dry day, on a dry day, on a dry day, dust particles or flour, dust, dust particles, or flour, flour, of course, from the duster or cloth, from the duster, or even if you are using cloth, stick, stick to the, to the window panes. Window panes, or in case you are also rubbing an mirror, you will see the dust particles sticking to that particular particular uh, window pane. So that can be explained using what we call aesthetic electricity. So those are the number of activities that you can be able uh, to do to be able to demonstrate the production of uh, the aesthetic type of uh, electricity. We also have another one. If you try to, to rub a plastic pen like this one on your air and you try to attract some papers, that is also going to work. You will see them sticking on the on the on the on the pen, and that is because of static electricity. We are going to try and see whether it's true what I'm saying. So we are going to I'm going to rub myself using the same. And we are going to attract. We are going to attract, and now you can be able to see that the papers has it got stuck into the uh, onto the on, on the plastic pen. This is because of what we call static electricity. So those are a number of activities that you can be able to do to 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 demonstrate static electricity. You can also use a, a, a ruler. You can also use a plastic comb. Comb your hair and then attract some materials. So that's one activity that I would want you to do at home. Just pick a plastic uh, 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 comb, try to, 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 to rub on air, and especially the natural air, not the one that is bought from the market. The natural one. Try to use the natural one and, and attract those materials. Small papers. Don't pick, pick a whole page of a paper and then you want to attract it. It's not going to work because of the weight. The mass of this particular paper. And don't use the air that you buy from the market. Those, those things that you buy from the market, they are not going to work. And so if they don't work, don't come saying that. Teacher say that it will work and it will not work. I've just told you which one is supposed to use. Use a ruler also. Use a, 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 a pen. And you realize that there is going to be an electricity that is going to be produced. So what is this we call electricity, I mean uh, static electricity. So static electricity means that it does not move. Static electricity doesn't move. Static electricity is electricity that does not move. Static, static electricity is electricity that do not move. That one will be, I'm going to explain it. Meaning that it's not going to be carried from one point to another one, as we're going to see in current electricity. So meaning that this is charge at rest. This is a charge. It's a form of a charge at rest. The word static means at one point it does not move. And the opposite of that in another language is dynamic, meaning that it can change from one uh, place to another or from one form to another. So we're saying it's a charge at rest because electricity is a charge. It is a charge. That's why you say that uh, bring my charger. What is that charger uh, thing to, to, trying to say? That the charger is used to introduce charge into a form, 
It can be also to be used to introduce charge into a Go TV or a DSTV, meaning that you are going to convert electricity into charge that you can be able to use to do other work. And that's the reason why we are saying it's called static electricity, because it's at rest. It doesn't move from one point to another. So the, this electricity, the, uh, as you have seen, the one that we just produced by rubbing, it's not so strong that we cannot use it maybe to run TV. It can also be used, cannot be used to run a radio. It cannot be used to charge phones because it's not strong. And so we say a number of times we don't use it anywhere. We only experience it in our daily lives, in our daily routine, uh, work that we do. We just experience it, but not, it's not so useful uh, 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 in our daily life. So, but there's uh, something to note. Write an NP. And this NP is supposed to say that um, lightning, lightning, you realize that lightning produces an electricity. So what is that electricity that is produced by by lightning. So lightning is a strong, it's a strong, strong form of static electricity. So the only place where we can get very strong static electricity is lightning. Only. So take note of that. So we are through with the the first part of uh, static electricity. Now, in the next uh, uh, part, the cause of, of uh, 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 static electricity, in our next lesson, we are going to see a very, very important uh, experiment. I'm not going to do it practically in class, but later I will also bring the same and do it practically in class. But in this, I'm going to, to explain. Very, very important. A question in the national exam which is very very uh, important to be explained at this point we are not going to rush this particular topic because it's a topic whereby many times we deal with it at home so we are going to go slowly a step by a step so that we understand because many of these questions coming from this point are also done in class 8 but in an advanced uh, form so you get this one well in class it will have no single problem why you should not get them right and so until next time learner i want to wish you well next when we come we're going to explain something very interesting uh, in that particular lesson god bless you